continuation of the trend to the upside today and uh, we have a candle that's made a higher high but a lower low. We did uh, suggest potential for a change of trend on the previous day with the tweezers top pattern in Japanese candlesticks a bearish reversal pattern and today once again with the market making this high around the same level as the previous we still have a setup for a tweezers top pattern we haven't had a change of trend at the moment even though the market took out the low of the previous candle uh, the market failed to establish a lower high and a lower low so we still are on alert for that bearish tweezers top reversal pattern now in terms of the uh, candle another small green bodied candle uh, in contrast to some of the large green bodies that we've seen trading in the recent past over the last couple of weeks at the top of a, a well established uptrend it is a, a warning sign and it tells us that the buyers are making only a very small amount of net bullish progress and what you like to see for continuation of the trend is the buyers continually making uh, strong momentum and uh, they're not making that momentum at the moment for the previous three candles we also had down, have downside price rejection as seen by the shadows on the top of the, the body of these candles at the 1265 region and that's a very important area of resistance for this market we see here previously where it was tested that we had a major sell-off and this market is having trouble trading up above there and the buyers are losing commitment each time that we trade up to that level or just beyond there so it's a very very important level uh, by the same token to the downside this market today did test down lower than the uh, yesterday's low and tested to the 1246 area which was a new previous area of resistance and has acted as support on occasions as well so that's an important area for this market in the immediate future if this market is going to trade lower we will need to see a close down below there down below 1246 we do have strong support below uh, at 1232 then down to the 1219 region and down to the top of the cloud around 1214 and very strong support all the way through down to 1183 with the round number 1200 uh, in the middle of the cloud at the moment so very strong support below to the upside obviously very strong resistance as well and this area at 1265 is very very strong and uh, if we see a bullish breakout up above there uh, the next level is 1275 and a very strong zone of resistance uh, highlighted by this yellow shaded area from roughly 1286 up to the round number 1300 so we have a market that's uh, finding very strong resistance overhead but uh, very with very strong support uh, down below so if we do get a solid move in either direction there is a potential uh, close by limit to how far the market can move in Ichimoku charts terms we are still trading up above the cloud so the market has an overall bullish bias we broke out some time ago here around 1190 1192 and the markets continuing uh, this uptrend in the first time frame the markets also trading up above the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen as we see here and uh, that tells us that the markets bullish in the medium term and fast term time frames looking at the Chikau span that's trading above the corresponding price action so confirming this bullishness that we're seeing in the market at the moment so um, bullish in all three time frames a little bit of indecision as the, as the market's testing 1265 with the buyers losing commitment up at that level but the sellers are also losing commitment around 1246 so a market that uh, over the previous few days has been attempting to make its mind up if we do see a solid bearish or bullish close we could see a strong move to test some higher or lower levels next to gold and uh, here today we've had a change of trend uh, we see a candle that's made a higher high and a higher low as opposed to the previous few days trading where we saw the market making lower highs and lower lows previous days trading was something similar to a hammer type pattern although it wasn't a substantial downtrend for uh, the market to change but it was uh, a type of uh, bullish uh, reversal pattern and uh, we've had confirmation of that today with the higher high and higher low the most important thing however is the support that's been offered by the cloud and for the previous two days trading we saw the shadows on the bottom of these candles extending down into the cloud and the sellers losing support uh, losing commitment 
as they were trading down within the cloud so it's a very very strong level of support extending all the way down through to the uh, 1664 region roughly even for today's trading we can see the shadow on the bottom of the candle finding support at the top of the cloud and at the 723.8 level that was uh, a fairly strong level in the past now a, a an extension to the size of the body of the candle today a, a moderately larger green body candle so that's how you'd like to see a new first time frame uptrend uh, get on its way and uh, that tells us that the buyers have made a decent amount of net bullish progress on the day between the open and the close they've also closed the market with control and shown good strong commitment by closing up towards the high uh, some minor resistance up around this 1766 level, this swing high, so we should watch that. We had some solid downside price rejection from there. And uh, uh, some uh, decent resistance up around the round number 1800 if the market can trade up to around that level. But very, very solid support down below. Uh, now, the, this market is bullish in the longer term time frame by trading up above the cloud. We had the bullish breakout a few days ago. Uh, the market failed to go on with it, but we retraced back towards the cloud and found support there. Trading up above the q Center and Tank and Center as well now, so the market is bullish in the medium term and fast term time frames. And looking to the chicka span, that's trading above the corresponding price action now, so confirming this overall bullishness that we're seeing in this market. So there is good potential for this market to continue trading higher. The area to watch, however, is this zone uh, roughly between 1750 and around this 1765, 1766 level. Uh, and also the support down below where the market will uh, potentially trade within the cloud. Next moving to light sweet crude oil and uh, here we see uh, quite a few indecisive candles as the market was uh, is trading up above the 100 round number level, a very important level for this market. We previously saw the breakout up above there and the market's tested down to around that area for the last uh, five days can consistently and we've found buyers coming in around that level which is what we tend to see an area of previous resistance as we saw with the 100 level is now turning into support uh, but the we've really got some very indecisive trading up around these levels with fairly small body candles and uh, in the case of today's candle a shadow on the top and a shadow on the bottom represent a large amount of indecision in this market Technically the trend is down, previous days trading the market made a lower high and a lower low, so we had a, a downtrend, but the bears didn't support that downtrend with the green body candle in the market closing up towards the high. So a uh, day where the buyers closed with control and showed uh, some strong commitment. Having said that however, the uh, today's trading is indecisive and we saw the buyers lose commitment up around 102, but the sellers lose commitment when they tested below 100, which is pretty much what we'd expect, that that's a very big number for this market. Now in Ichimoku charts terms, very bullish market trading a fair way up above the cloud, a bullish breakout previously and the market's gone on with uh, this uptrend in the second uh, time frame and in the first time frame as well you know, for substantial a s substantial part of the trend after the breakout. A bullish in the medium term and fast term time frame with the market trading above the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen and the Chika Span is above the corresponding price action so confirming the overall bullishness that we're seeing in this market. Uh, if we look at the Kijun Sen that's been pointing flat for quite some time and uh, price action tends to be attracted back towards there. Interestingly with this market the uh, price action really hasn't uh, been attracted back towards there. We've seen attempts to trade down below there but obviously this 100 uh, level is holding that market up from retracing back towards the Kijun Sen here. Now that flat Kijun Sen is uh, highlighting this congestion that we're getting in the market at the moment over the previous five days or so with these small bodied candles. Uh, we're also seeing the Tenkan Sen pointing uh, flat as well over the previous few days and that's reflecting a lot of this indecision that we've seen over the previous three days too. Um, now if we do see the market rally then there is uh, fairly strong support at this 102 level and then above there from 103.39 extending up to the top of this highlighted area to roughly 104.80, 104.70. So very strong resistance overhead so obviously that's why we're seeing this capitulation in the market and this ind indecision at the moment uh, because of this barrier above but certainly also because of this very strong support offered by the 
100 round number. Um, if we do see a bearish breakout down below 100, we could see the market trading uh, a fair bit lower. We do have support at the Tenkan Sen at 98.71.5 and then at the Kijin Sen at 96.27 and uh, another support area around this 96 level. Um, some other major support levels until we uh, trade down to the cloud. That's a fair way away though. But um, I'd be a little bit uh, worried if we did see uh, some solid bearishness coming into this market with a breakout down below 100. And mainly because of this, uh, these tests over the last week or so below the 100 level, the flat point in Kitchen Send and the failure to retrace substantially back towards there. So it looks like a market that, that it wants to rally but we've got solid resistance overhead as well. So for the next day's trading let's just watch that 100 round number and watch 102 just above where the market's trading at the moment.